182. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Ro. Hello, all you cool new people. <laughs> Hello there, Ro. How are you doing, man? It's been an insane week. A lot of new followers, a lot of new stuff I've learned, a lot of new people I've met, a lot of new stuff I've drawn. Very productive, yes. Nice. I see that you've been streaming a lot this week. Yes, I went bananas with live streaming. But can you blame me? I did pick up my Picardo Premium, and I want every penny that I've spent worth. <laughs> How's that treating you? It's great, actually. It's probably the best of the, and, eh, what was that word? Uh, investment <laughs> I've ever made. So many people now want to hang out with me. <laughs> notice that, notice that. Like, um, a few of your regulars are Medi and who else? Um, I forgot. Medi and Draginda? Draginda doesn't stream with me that much because she's at school right now. Mm. But yeah, I got new and new people coming in every now and then. Mm. Well, oh. that or I'm just asking everyone around, like, hey, do you want to multi-stream? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe about 50 or 100 times a day, you know. Wow. Just want to make sure you know, want to or not. All right, all right. Look, looks like who's getting horsey, monsieur. Well, I wouldn't say horse, but I guess I'm getting there. <laughs> well, nice. throwing at a time. Nice, nice. And our guest for this week is Professional Pups. Hi, I'm Puppy. <laughs> Hello, Pups. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Woof. <laughs> Yay. So, Pops, before we officially start, I need to ask you the four important questions. Well, I forgot to mention this early on, but hey, life is a surprise, so we're going to surprise you. So, question number one is, favorite character? <gasps> oh. oh, that's a tough question. Uh, Coco Pum- Pumel. Coco Pumel? Wow. Yes. Coco Pumel's awesome. She's, she's very uh, kawaii. So, what's your favorite episode then? Puppy's favorite episode. Oh, that's a tough question. Is that asking favorite food? <laughs> They're all so good. Well, it's not that mm-hmm. hard. Come on. No. Uh, um, Pups thinks it would be uh, season one, episode 11, uh, which is the winter wrap-up. Oh. Winter wrap-up, winter wrap-up. Why winter wrap-up? Uh, Pops think this is the episode that, like, uh, defines the entire series. Really now? Yes. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Of course, it's changed ever since. <laughs> ever since Maybe. what? I don't know. Nothing. Tell me. Nothing. Uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> There's definitely no body bags behind me. I mean, nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you say so. Uh, but anyway, um, how did you get into the show? How did you become a fan of the show? It's actually quite um interesting. So, Pups was online, going around, wasting time. I mean, um, going on YouTube and uh, watching Know Your Meme stuffs, uh-huh. and they had a episode, well, episode, I don't know, a video about bronies, and I was like, wait, that's the name of Puppy's uh, dog. Really? Yes, it was Brony. B R O N Y. Exactly. <laughs> then the the exact spelling. Okay. Well, now. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So one day, Pups decided to check the show. It was like, oh, well, let's watch it, you know. And then after the first two episodes, Pups kind of forgot about it for a week. And I was like, wait, I was watching this show. So Pups watch it once. Every night. Then okay. it turned to two times every night. And three. <laughs> and then before you know it, by the end of the month, it was season one done. <laughs> and by the end of the week, it was season two done. <laughs> he's like, okay, I like this show. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> what do your family and friends think about your love for such show? At first, it was like, oh my goodness, what is happening to you? <laughs> and now they don't really... And that was... Uh, Pops was in high school? Was it? Pops doesn't remember. But everyone's like, oh, what is wrong with you? And then, although Pops actually got one of his friends to watch the show too. <laughs> but anyway, um, but now nobody cares. Or it's more of, ah, he likes that show. Okay. All right. So, when did you face? When do you became a fan of the show? Like, when was that? Like, do you remember the year? Two thousand and twelve. Oh. Season two was done. 
Season 2 was done, so that would be around end of 2012 and probably start of 2013, maybe? Yes, around, yeah, probably 2013. Became a fan of the show because Tops finished season 1 and Tops realized, oh, I like the show. <laughs> and finishing season 2 in a week, yeah, that just confirms it. <laughs> Alrighty then, alrighty then. So anyway, Pops, thank you for answering the four important questions. Now... Wait, you forgot the fifth important question. What is it? <gasps> Who's a good little doggy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does it. Yeah, noms. Nom. Uh, but anyway, anyway. You know who, who's not a good little pet? Who? <gasps> who is it? Uh, this one person called Harris Falker? Falkern? I I've, I've, don't know how to pronounce that last word. Falkern, yeah. Meep. Harris Falkern. Falkner. Falkner. I think it's Falkner. And in yeah. any case. Yeah, in any case. Apparently a fox <laughs> anchor, whatever that means, <laughs> sued Hasbro for a lookalike of a character in the Lilith's pet shop. Well, it's fox, so that already fox-ness. says a lot. Yeah, true. And I'm looking at the <laughs> pictures, like, lookalikes... Girl, sell your career and buy freaking a telescope. You know, one of those cosmic telescopes and look carefully. Well, Seriously, remember, that was not to like her. Remember the time when Fox uh, invited that one guy and t- tells everybody that bronies are a bunch of people who file for disability? Everyone remembers. But that's Maybe. not true. Wait, what? But no. When did that happen? That was like three years ago. Well, but that's just terrible. No, the, the the real the real issue is the the real issue here is like, uh, Harris Faulkner is the toy's name and Hasbro trademarked that, and in doing so, the real well the person name Harris Faulkner is a bit offended by that. But the grounds that they're suing on is mm-hmm. not look-alike. right. Yeah, it's a lookalike. So. That is just a big no-no there. Like, in terms of, okay, if she were to pursue, um, naming conventions, that would have been acceptable. But a look-alike? Yo, you don't look alike. Like, <laughs> I don't see a resemblance there. Unless this photo we're looking at here is extremely photoshopped, and she's <laughs> like really, really, you know, not that looking in real life, if you know what I mean. Uh- <laughs> And when and she's doing the news, she they probably yeah. got like some kind of, I don't know, green screen or something. Oh, uh, you mean like that application that's on the Steam where you can change your face on the... Yes, yes, that one. Face rig. Yes. <laughs> what was that she's called? using face rig then. Uh, face rig? Yeah. <laughs> yes. She's probably using face rig whenever she's like anchoring the news or whatever that means. Oh, wow. <clears throat> what is a news, what is, what's an anchor anyway? What does she, what is Fox has their own port or something? Would they have boats? <laughs> no, no, no. Ro, ro. News anchors are people who read the news on the TV, you know. Quote, un, quote unquote. Isn't that called news. a newscaster? Yeah, but it's also known as a news anchor. So the more yeah. you know, I guess. Damn it, I missed anchor. so many puns. <laughs> but, uh, an anchor because someone has If to I knew that before. Boat. Oh well. Yeah. Yep, yeah, up. You were saying? It's probably called an anchor because before the newscaster goes online, everyone has to stop the boat. That's no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, so much more sense now. Uh, no, no, no idea. But, <clears throat> but here's a snippet from the article. Hasbro willfully and wrongly appropriate Foxner's unique and valuable name and distinctive persona to its own financial gain. Unique and valuable? Name, yes. <coughs> Distincting persona, I got no idea. See, th- this Ladies is... Ladies and gentlemen, if you're having dogs, <laughs> name them Harris. Uh, no, that's just mean, but no, I mean... Seriously, it's... suing for like a name and look like... I, if Hasbro did the same with me, I'd be honored, like, oh, hey, that character looks like me. Yeah, but the thing is, you're not that popular. She's, well, she's popular, I guess, I don't know. Uh, she's working yeah. with Fox. Fox News. Yeah. Yes. No, no comment we know there. What Fox is. No comment there. But talking about naming conventions and conventions in general, I do understand that, Pups, you're at a convention right now, right? 
Yes, well, not right now, but we'll be going back there. Uh, Pups is going to uh, Equestria LA this today. Today. So by the time that this episode is out, it will be already over. No! So this is an inside opinion of someone who is um, going or attending their live. So Pups, you attended day one, right? Yes, day one from, uh, just say, di- Pups didn't attend the entire, uh, entirety of day one. From, it was only from 11.30 to 5 mm. p.m. because of stuff happening. Alright, cool. Night. But still, that, that's a long, that's still a long time. So tell mm-hmm. me what, what happened in there? Like, how is it like? Like, tell us the whole process. Um, process? Yeah. I'm not sure. But, uh, it's actually, it looks a bit smaller than, uh, two years ago, actually, because two years ago they had way more people, and then the hiatus came, and now, well, they, they, they're back. But, uh, it's, it's very good, um, the vendor hall is packed full, uh, a lot of people were lining up for the autograph, I think it was, uh, they line up like, uh, quite a lot, pups can't count. But the venue is actually smaller. It's actually in the uh, Hilton Hotel. Uh, two years ago, it was in the Marriott Hotel, which was much bigger. Of course, they have the registration, and it's kind of funny. They couldn't find Puppy's name. <laughs> and Puppy's real name or Puppy's Puppy's name? Puppy's real name and Puppy's name. Okay. Professional Puppy. <laughs> and apparently, it was in the mis- miscellaneous but it's a miscellaneous. <laughs> Wait, no. how, how is it in the miscellaneous? Was, was it some? <laughs> so how how the tag how the uh what's the name? That the uh, what's that called? I don't remember. How the thing works is that they sort out by last names, and Pops oh. didn't put his last name. Oh, okay. And so they put in a miscellaneous pile. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, where is it? I can't find it. Your, what's your last name? It's this one. I can't find it. <laughs> oh, wow. so much trouble. And Pops had to interrogate. I mean, uh, <laughs> I had to ask someone else about it. And they finally came back. It's like, no, this guy is in the miscellaneous pile because he's uh, a puppy. Wow. <laughs> Pup- yeah. Oh, wow. But anyway, yeah, they had uh, the. Basically, in the CQA, they have the main panel and the secondary panel. Main mm-hmm. panels are for bigger stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, there was the uh, pups visited the creators panel, which there were there was a Bonnie, the original creator of oh. My Little Pony, and Lauren Foss uh, in that panel. Oh wow! So it's it's really cool and at the end it was almost tear jerking actually oh well, i can't wait to um, well look for that video when it's out pups, but oof. pups won't spoil it oh okay 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 but how did bonnie enjoy what happened as she really did enjoy it uh especially talking about uh how my little pony was created and the troubles they have to face especially with the marketing department <laughs> <laughs> but yeah won't spoil too much. Okay, uh, that's cool. That's cool. An, another panel was the John Delancey Q and A. Uh, <laughs> kind of went. It was fun. <laughs> kind of went in there a little late. Oh. Yeah, but it was really fun. It actually went a little over time. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I won't spoil much about it. Go watch that when it goes live. Mm-hmm. Uh. And pups went into the vendor hall. Yay! Uh, yes. Lots of people. Oh, how, uh, much, how much do you spend? <laughs> Too much. Too much. Got a, got a lot. Uh, got, um, where is it? Got a lot of, th- got a couple of things. Uh, definitely went to the Twilight Secret Chip Pick folder. Oh, I wish oh I can buy that. I wish I can buy that. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> the cards, they're so, oh my gosh, the cards, they're so, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, been wanting that. Tried to, uh, last year tried to print it out and mm-hmm. cut it out, but kind of got lazy and kind of got busy uh-huh, uh-huh. because puppy busy time. Then actually met a couple of people, pups knows, 
Uh, Blind Coyote was there. Oh, cool. It was really cool meeting him in person. Uh, Citra 360. Oh, wow. It's, yeah, nice meeting him in person. Uh, also a good friend of mine. I, uh, Pups didn't know that he'll be in EQLA, but he was. He's, uh, Johan's robot. You should check his art. He's really, uh, really, really good. Um, uh, beside him was Cassette Set. Is a cassette. Anyone know what a cassette is? A cassette uh, tape? I have no idea. Yeah, cassette tape. Uh, okay, yeah. One of those tape. thing. Yeah, cassette tape. Like, yeah. Back in like, my day, we did that, CDs. <laughs> yeah, like, like if Back you... <laughs> in Pup's time, uh, we had these cassette tapes that we, uh, uh, you would spin and spin. Uh, Grandma, <laughs> those don't exist anymore. I know you damn rascal. <laughs> Anyway, that's, uh, so yeah, I met him, got a commission from him. Oh, wow. That's very cool. Uh, I should, uh, link his, uh, uh, DeviantArt. Just soon. give it to me and I'll put it in the show notes. Okay. So anyway, um, so yeah, I met them and I met, uh, one of the, uh, what, one of the artists for the comic. It, it was Agnes. Agnes. Agnes Gorska. Whoa, Agnes is yes. cool. Got a commission, got a, uh, commission from, she draws really fast. Ooh. Uh, she really, really draw, uh, fa- like five minutes for a portrait, a, Ooh. uh, painted portrait, actually, Ooh. watercolor painted portrait. Really? Which is like, wow, how much Water is it for the colors? What? Yeah, but she was really fast. Watercolor, um, only five minutes, and she said that figure only takes her eight minutes, which is oh my goodness! It's Whoa! Skills, really ladies place. and gentlemen, skills. I am jelly of you, pups, right now. Poof. Did you, by the way, met Andy? No, he was uh, not there. Uh, wait, what? He's yeah. not there? Um, was he? I'm not I, sure. I have to check sure. it out again. Hmm. But anyway, hmm. um, didn't really go to the autograph because limited time and uh, the the lines were long, yeah. but. Yeah, overall, it's uh, pretty cool. I got stuffs from the convention. So I have a secret shepherd folder. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that, that sounds awesome. I, I can't wait to talk to you more when you've done all three days. Uh, won't be there all three days, only uh, Friday and Saturday. Ah, all right then. Well, I can't wait to hear more on the day to day. But <laughs> I just can't wait to talk to you more. That's about it. Like time travel is confusing. I know. I mean, pups went back to like 3000 BC. Or was it 2000 BC? Pups doesn't. Oh wait, no, 79 AD, and accidentally like blew up his 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 his, 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 his that one Italian that uh, that one Italian uh, city that got covered in ash and oh, everybody died. That one, Pompeii. Yes, Pompeii. <laughs> uh, I wish Jesus here. <laughs> Talk about burying your bones. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, a oh, lot of them. Oh wow! Well, <clears throat> but, well that's a world record we could set, ladies and gentlemen. Oh <laughs> uh, wow! But anyway, but anyway, I'm talking about arts and whatnot. Pups, you're an artist, right? Uh, yes, hobby artist, but uh, yeah, I go full time. So not soon, but what? Uh, so well, I'm looking at your divine art here, and I see that you're already unique. Really? I- yeah, in terms of most of your art here is traditional art. Yes, most of it, uh, yeah, most of it is traditional. I tried going digital, but it, uh, oh, uh, it's really difficult transitioning from tra- traditional to digital. But Control Z is the best thing ever, right, bro? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I feel you in that department. I, re- I also switched from traditional to digital, like all of a sudden. It is something you need to get used to, but, you know, like anything with practice, you'll get used to it. Mm. Yes. So... I mean, don't look at my gallery. My first pictures and my current ones. It's just a matter of, you know, skill and adaptation. Mm, yes. True, true. But, Ro, you improve in a quick time. Like, you improve really fast. It's been a year, man. <laughs> yeah, that's really fast. But, Pops, why not go digital? What What's stopping you? Mostly, it's the... Uh, unnat- it feels unnatural. Like, 
pencil and paper mm-hmm. uh, and transition transitioning to uh, a, a stylus on a board that has uh, sensors, the pressure sensor stuff, and watching on the screen like draw it's, it feels so weird. It it doesn't feel natural. And uh, Puss was actually talking to Agnes uh, about it. Uh, she does. She actually does. I think her inks on traditional, but she does her line work on digital. And then she gave the uh, complete work to the uh, like other staff members so they could uh, co- correct the colors and stuff like that. But yeah, she does most of the inking on uh, traditional, which is really interesting because most, oh, wow. uh, according to her, more, most of the artists does it on uh, digital uh, in her uh, uh, office workspace. Oh, okay, yeah. workspace, much better. Wow, that that is interesting. Like, um, I how to put this? I, I do understand the feel of writing something on pencil and paper and doing something on a stylus. It's a bit different in terms of the feel of how you stroke those strokes, like those pen strokes and whatnot. So that is something that you need to get used to, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Well, there's the regular tablet, but there's also the Cintiq. The Cintiq is when the... you draw on screen, you look hmm. at it not instead of looking at the screen. Well, it's like a digital paper. Hmm. I got a tablet that you got to plug into a computer and then just look at the monitor, but your tablet's on the side. And there's the Cintiq that's like a screen, and you can draw on it. Mm, but still, yes. you you have the same problem of the stroke not being there. Like I, I think what Pops is saying that why he couldn't be a claim or he couldn't get the feel of it is just because of the strokes, right, Pops? Um, yeah, but Pops never tried the uh, was it Cintiq? Right? Yeah, they're yes. really expensive. Those things are quite expensive, but they're really professional. Yeah, yeah, Pops has the uh, bamboo Wacom, yeah, oh, bamboo wait. Wacom tablet. Wait, bamboo or Intuos? Yes, mm-hmm. they're Intuos. I'm actually just yeah. confused about bamboo, bamboo. Intuos. I just got a tablet that says Wacom and it works. That's what I need. Yeah, sorry, because uh, I think I think yeah. how Wacom's doing it right now, they they totally change it to uh, Cintiq and Intuos. Those those are the only two brands out there. Um, Cintiq is kind of the professional level and Intuos is intermediate to advanced. Mm-hmm. So that's what I remember. But back in the days before they split everything, they had the bamboo. Bamboo was for beginners. Intuos was for intermediate to advanced and the Cintiq was for professionals. Yay! That's what I remember. But now they streamline everything. So, Pops, how's your workflow with this? Like, how do you start off your work? Uh, start off with a circle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cir- circles are really important here. It, it helps guide. But yeah, you just really start up as a, with a circle to guide. Um, it then pretty much sketch starting with the ear, then the f- head, and uh, pretty much the entire body. It's not that difficult now since Pups has done it a multitude of times. Um, but yeah, sketch first, then, uh, do the line work. And, uh, afterwards, color it out. And, uh, if you can see, Puff's been trying to do, uh, different kinds of, uh, lighting lately. But yeah, that's how I do it. It usually takes about an hour or more, depending on how difficult it is, the pose and stuff like that. Do you ink them? No, they're all on pencil. Ah. Every single, every single one of them. Oh, okay. So, have you thought about going ink? Uh, maybe, actually. Pups haven't tried it yet, but might do it soon. Hmm. By the way, that process is for the, uh, like, only ponies without the background. With the background, that's a little different. Pups usually start out with the background first, then add the ponies in, and usually whatever comes into Pups' mind, uh, <laughs> Pups just added it. And yeah, there it is. Uh, I'm seeing your drawing called Outpost 002, and oh my, this is this is really good. Oh, thank you. That took a few week, uh, a week at least, <laughs> because the drawing is a uh, big, and it's yeah, it's a massive scale. 
But I like drawing these kinds of drawing, like the you know, landscape drawings and stuff like that with uh, sprawling landscape. Um, but they do take a long time to create, which is why there's not a lot of it. And usually they are very detailed, not like the show style ones. If you see all my drawings, they're more or less close to show style. Left. Yeah, you try to get there, but I think what you're doing is much, well, it's a better style for you where you just do what you want and create what you yeah. create because, well, it's your personal thing. Yes. And be professional about it. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> so you color using color pencils, right? Mm-hmm. So have you ever tried using anything else besides color pencil? Yes. Uh, this one. Uh, if you see the balloon pups, that was actually done with uh watercolor. Balloon pups. Um, oh yeah, this one, all right. Oh. Yes. Really? Um, um, yes. Uh, was at a meetup and a friend gave uh, watercolor to pups. <laughs> and if you see the derpy plush and the still life, those are with charcoal. Really? Yes. Nice. Yay. Thank you. Wow, I thought that was a photo. Like Instagram or something. <laughs> yep. Nice. <laughs> I was with charcoal. Um, promise, uh, this was on Bristol Pad, I think. Uh, charcoal doesn't really stick well, so I used the wrong uh, <laughs> material to do this. It's cool, it's cool. Learn The learning process, the learning process. Yes. But other than that, like, Ro, any questions for the pups? I see you drew Norman. That's pretty cool. Yes! That was a, uh, a few months ago. Let it me was, see. Uh, that was February. February 17th. Yay! Yeah. It's a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, you too. this one is like, yay. I, I look so derpy. What? Uh. Yay. <laughs> it's not derpy, it says happy Norman. Yeah. Oh, you're so adorable. <laughs> uh, you drew the so, yeah, cute, don't you? <laughs> mm-hmm. Indeed. Yeah. So, Pops, are there any other artists you admire or, you know, learn from? Admire and learn from. Mm. And or learn, learn from. from, you know. Uh, learn from a, a, a lot, actually. It's. Kind of difficult because I don't really have one single artist in mind. But I'll, I'll just say where I learn to draw. Uh, and uh, I hope this doesn't cause any controversy. But <laughs> uh, so pups learn how to draw ponies actually from draw ponies. <laughs> um, he at- <laughs> which is ironic. But anyway, um, he has a. Uh, a tutorial that he put up and of course he made the importance of circles and circle 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 and I learned from that one tutorial and ever since then I learned from a lot of other artists what's a Pokemon comes into mind I learned from a lot, a lot of different artists I don't I don't tend to only get inspired by one I tend to get inspired by a lot because well uh, you you get your ideas from a lot of places, you know. What? Mm, all right, all right. Yeah, don't just uh, focus on one thing. Focus on a lot of things. He says as he's doing university work <laughs> and <laughs> focus is very very important. I yes. nothing. <laughs> yes, indeed, indeed. No, but still, I mean, um, those tutorials are well straightforward. Like if you know what you're looking for, and if you have the time and effort to just do it, I think it's going to be awesome. And just do it. There's, there's nothing more to it than just doing it. Just do it! Do it. <laughs> just do, do it. it! Make your ponies ride the rainbow! <laughs> Make your pony ride the rainbow! Do uh, it! Wow. <laughs> so yeah, so what are your plans for the future? I mean, are you planning like an experimenting with new styles or new types of traditional art? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, looking more into uh, uh, experimenting, yeah, the experimenting, 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 Exper- my dear friend. Yes, <laughs> experimenting with charcoal. Definitely trying to get into digital art because that's gonna require it for pups major. But anyway, um, 
uh, want to get into animating, which is it's a lot of work, yes, but at the same time, it's very rewarding at the end. Digital art, uh, let's see, more background, uh, more uh, drawings with background, uh, with uh, landscape, and uh, animating, if possible. So, Pops, you said that you're in college right now. So, what are you taking? Um, arts? Yes, uh, Pops is taking uh, multimedia. And, um, yeah, it's a studio arts major. And I'm not sure if either taking an emphasis on uh, motion or image. Kind of uh, stuck between the two at the moment. So, you got no idea where you're going then? Uh, uh, Pops got the idea, but just uh, kind of just stuck between the two at the moment because one is more uh, of uh, animating and the other is uh, uh, image, which is drawing. Hmm. Well, both are good because in the long term, either or will get you a place in some circles in art. I'm not sure. Like, if you want to do animation, <laughs> obviously go for animation. If you do drawings, the thing I can think of is concept art mm-hmm. and so on like there's there's a few more there but still there's there's a lot there you, you can do have you tried making yeah. music what no or voice no. acting yes voice acting don't know where to start kind of want to do that um have done a few cover actually only one cover of the smile song but <laughs> it, that was that one was for a friend and it's not fully done. It's like only forty, only first forty seconds. <laughs> but still, but still, in terms of voice acting, what I think you could do is try and go for um, dramatic readings where you just read Ooh. something and you know just try it out, like read a fanfic or read something, and then try to voice out the thoughts of the characters. Oh, of pups takes notes from Norman. <laughs> Uh, yes. that, that's a good thing to try out. That's a good thing to try out. But, Pops, let me ask you this. Have you seen Rainbow Rocks? Yes! What do you think about it? It was surprisingly good. <laughs> uh, this, surprisingly? It was really It was really good. The first one was... Yeah, that, that's good, but... <laughs> but uh, yeah, it could have been better. But then Rainbow Rocks came out and was like, Hey, we're, we're act, we're, we are going to go full out on this. <laughs> and then boom, boom, all the songs. Yeah, true, true. Final one. Uh oh, the final song. Well, technically the second final song. Mm, uh, that one. Oh, that was the, good. Yeah, they they really blended different genres together so well. And my friend and my friend was also also loved that um, song a lot because he, he's, he kind of likes metal. Um, <laughs> what um, the. F- but Pub's favorite uh, song in that one is uh, oh, which one was it? Uh, which one was it? If you can remember, it, it's the one the cafeteria where the uh, dazzling. Oh, the song. cafeteria song. Yeah. No, 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 not, not not the cafeteria. It's the second one. Oh, yeah. Uh, now I'm trying to remember the which Jenkins? one was it. Uh, Pub's uh, forget the lyrics. Under our spell. Yes. I think. I think. I'm not under sure. our spell. Uh huh. Oh, that, that one was a good you one too. You didn't know that you fell. <laughs> it would have been funny if you stripped the animation. Touch me all time. What kind of music? Know. Isn't Daniel Lindgren working on a new album or something? Well, <gasps> kind of. Kind of. Well, um, recently in a tweet, he stated out about to head into Warehouse Studio for an eight hour brass and Choir, choir, choir session for choir. a super cool upcoming hashtag secret project hashtag MLP. Ooh, top secrets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Top you secret. see, well, you see, so, Daniel, it's not really a secret project if you tell people about it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, technically, he's trying to hype it up. And, you know, two things come into mind when he's doing this. More of season five or the 2017 movie. Or they're making a video game. Uh, yeah, no comment on that one. Uh, let Platinum Games have it. But <laughs> but the most interesting part is um, Warehouse Studio 
if you guys don't know who Warehouse Studio is, well, technically, they're a studio in a warehouse. <laughs> but besides that, they're a production company or what's this? A recording facility in Vancouver in British Columbia. And they have the honor of recording a few of the most talented artists in their studios. For example, it's ACDC. Really? Uh, yep, they did Ooh. ACDC, Stiff Upper Lip, Black Ice, Rock Orbers, and Avril Lavigne, Under My Skin. Who else did they do? Daniel Ingram, Edgala. <laughs> well, Edgala was there too, so yay. Um, who else? Metallica, Can- Cunning something, I don't remember. Michelle Kreber. Huh. So they they did a lot of good things. And Nirvana, for one. Uh, Offsprings. And who else? R.E.M. So they had produced a lot of songs in their studio. So this is good. This is good. So probably the 2017 movie. Who knows? We, we're awesome song coming out. Who knows, right? Well, that's two years to wait. So, well, less than two years. True, but, yeah. true. True, 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 true. So... so Yes, soon. And you know what? If there's, if it's showing on theaters, we need to have a meet up, pups. Come in, come down here and let's go meet up and let's yes. go watch. Oh, I have to see if it, uh, if pups graduates by then. <laughs> uh, alrighty then, alrighty then. Well, either that or pups goes to, wait a minute, wrong voice, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, but anyway, it's it's all fun and games. It's all fun and games. So, what do you expect to do for today, pups? Definitely visit more of the battles. Hang out with pups' friend. Uh, one of his friend, uh, one of puppy's friend, couldn't come yesterday, but he's coming to today. Hopefully, his car is fixed. But uh, and uh, yeah, just have fun. Have a lot of fun. Fun. A lot of fun, detail, fun, A lot of fun. A lot of stuff to buy. Fun. 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 Yes. Uh, all right, then. Well, I wish you a great time, man. Like, I'm very jealous of you right now. Grr. Yeah. Don't worry. You, you should go to Buck uh, next year or something. Uh, I'll try and see. But right now, I may have a plan B <gasps> to go to another con in the future. Probably. Oh. I don't know. I don't want to jinx it. Tell us a little bit well, about it. Not, not sure. I mean, there's one major brony con. So, probably that one, I guess. Okay. Yeah, it'll be really cool. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? Since you're in the States now, probably we can meet up in the New York, New York, probably. Who knows? Mm. Uh, one problem. What? I'm in the uh, West Coast. West. Well, you, you got a, a reason... problem with the East Side? Huh? No, no problem. But it's just trying to get there. Probably by plane. Uh, and the you, timing. you know, you could you could just put yourself in a train in the kennel. It's not gonna be that bad. I mean, so you just bring out I those mean, puppy eyes, and there you go. And suddenly, pups will pop out of existence, and then gold would. Have... <laughs> oh no, we made him pop out of existence. <laughs> anyway, how did that happen? Uh, magic, I guess. Ooh, puppy alive! Hello, how was the afterworld? Uh, it was interesting. There was like a lot of floating debris everywhere. I don't know what's that. Maybe like a floating Baymax <laughs> and a <laughs> floating building <laughs> and a lot of clouds. Talking about Baymax, here's something random, like out of the blue for this show. But did you know that the continuation of that story is going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3? <gasps> oh, there you go again. <laughs> I wonder how many lives the dog has. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, uh, Pops, if you can hear this. <laughs> Hello, Pops. I'm You're back. back. Uh, but anyway, um, thanks for coming on, man. Like, thanks for gracing us with your presence. No problem. Uh, you're most welcome to come on again, man. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been fun talking to you too. We, we should have you on more, if we can. Well, as long as, uh, the others don't get annoyed. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. It's my show anyway. It's, well, technically I say it's my show, but it's Sweetie Bot's show. But, uh, but anyway, uh, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. You can reach us on the Twitters. Sweetie Bot's Twitter account is at MBS Show. She will tweet about this episode and other random things. 
I got no idea because it's random. And as for me, you can catch me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And currently tickling my fancy is... Nothing, because I am so dripped right now. Ro, what about you, man? You can find me on my Twitter at Relicious underscore Art, where I reblog a lot of web comics these days, and boy, do I read a lot. Or my DeviantArt gallery, Relicious.DeviantArt.com. Hire me! <laughs> the bills are knocking down my door! <laughs> yep, hire the Ro. Hire the Ro. Pay him to draw art so he can keep those bills at bay. I'll draw your OC! <laughs> I'll draw your family! <laughs> I'll draw your uh, OC's OC! <laughs> the what? Yes. Uh, uh, but anyway, Pups, how can they reach you? Uh, Pups mostly goes on uh, DeviantArt. You can find the Pups at professionalpuppy.deviantart.com. I'm usually only there, but I do have a Derpy Bar account, but rarely use it, and a SoundCloud account at well, Professional Puppy. And, well, that, that, those are the places you can find the Pups. Of course, you can request... Although it will take some time. As I have said, a lot of times, yes, you can request me, but you will get your OC done eventually. Eventually. That, that's the keyword, eventually. So wait, these are requests, not commissions, right? Might open commissions soon, but... uh, <laughs> Might open commissions soon, but currently, uh, uh, yeah, requests are sort of open. Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. If only I know you kind of delay. Alrighty then, that's normal, that's normal. And also, please subscribe and rate us on the iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, the Facebooks, we have them. You can also catch us on PonyvilleLive.com. Links are in the show notes. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I'm Relicious, or I'm Delicious. I'm Puppy, the Turkey Pups. No, you're the Muffin Pups. Yes! (laughs) I wonder who's that person in the background there. Anyway, join us next week for another awesome episode of NBS Show. Go, check us out. And we'll see you on the next podcast. Bye-bye. <laughs>